I brought with me, Mr. President, a technology. This is a solar shingle. These are available. Over time, we think they'll be more um, available in terms of cost. But by putting these in your home or a building, you can substantially reduce the use of electricity and use the sun to bring power into your home or your uh, building. No car company will be able to thrive in the 21st century if it relies solely on internal combustion engines. Issues such as global climate warming, clean air, and energy conservation demand fundamental change from all industries and all nations. What I saw yesterday was Stan and, and, and Bob is a pilot plant that blew me away. At some point, we've got to realize that uh, you're going to have to face up to a, the new millennium for the young people is going to be an electric world. Uh, and you can quote that. I said that there will be an electric something in every garage within a year or two. We think ECD has a breakthrough technology. We believe their batteries are a clear choice for the, uh, the hybrid car. We believe their solar product is exciting with a lot of potential applications. Information uh, storage technology is just a, an area with unbelievable potential. But I must say, we were particularly drawn to their uh, work in the hydrogen storage area. This is a company, unlike a lot of the companies we talk to, that has gone beyond basic science and initial concept to production and sales. Our world is changing, growing, reinventing itself every day. And for over 40 years, energy conversion devices, with its remarkable history of groundbreaking research, production, and commercialization of environmentally friendly, low-cost energy and information technologies, has led the charge. And now, after almost a half century of changing the world, ECD continues its own journey of change and transformation. Everybody seems to be talking about the hydrogen economy. But uh, really, Stan actually built the company based on hydrogen. From the very first days in 1960, he knew that hydrogen would be part of the future of the world. Stan and Iris Opshinsky founded Energy Conversion Devices in 1960. Stan had already successfully established himself as an inventor at a very early age. He began his scientific work in disordered and amorphous materials in 1955, at a time when these materials were considered of little commercial value, and certainly not well understood by either the scientific or business communities. Still, Stan and Iris were determined to find new and creative ways to exploit the power of this new and unexplored area of science. When we started the company, we thought we will try and solve whatever problems we can. Stan and I both have a very, very strong feeling that the reason you're here in this world is to try and make a better world. Stan's early inventions, the ovonic threshold switch and the ovonic memory switch, were based on his discovery of a property of certain amorphous semiconductor materials the world eventually came to know as the Avshinsky effect. The stand switch was basically just a thin film of material with a contact on the top and a contact on the bottom. And he applied a voltage to it, no current passed through until a certain voltage was achieved, at which point it rapidly switched into a conducting state. Three layers, a layer of magic and two contacts. And, and it was completely unexpected. I mean, people had seen uh, a, a situation where if you apply a voltage, something breaks down and burns out and, and, and so forth. But Stan switch switched and then went back to the insulating state and switched and went back and went and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back a zillion times. It all comes down to materials. What I thought was to synthesize and to take many elements and actually engineer and design materials where I didn't have to worry about the restraints of the crystalline structure. If you can break that tyranny, then you can develop countless new materials with important new phenomena. And that, that makes it easy 
to approach some of the problems that appeared to be unsolvable. Somebody looks at the electric vehicle battery, what do you mean thin film? They don't see thin film. They don't see crystalline structure here. But that's the basis of that battery. There's a company called General Motors, Motors. Ford Motors, Motors. Chrysler Motors, Motors. The whole automotive industry has been built on the very heart of having a gas engine, a motor. And now what's needed, and which we provide, is having a battery, an energy source, which allows the electric car now to be an ordinary engineering feat. BCD is a materials company. We're changing the crystalline structure of materials to perform a task. That's key, and that's what ECD does very well. Before ECD, batteries for electric vehicles, in addition to not having the necessary performance characteristics, also contain significant levels of environmentally hazardous chemical elements, such as lead, cadmium, or mercury. ECD's ovonic battery solves these problems by taking advantage of another chemical element, hydrogen. Hydrogen is a very lightweight element that can be used for many things. And therefore, we use hydrogen as our active fluid, so to speak, for our battery. However, gaseous hydrogen and liquid hydrogen are dangerous. By putting it into a solid, and that's why we call it a hydride, and by using that hydrogen in the form of a solid, it's safe, and it gives you tremendous more energy, no pollution, and solves the problems that have been holding back the electric car. ECDs and the Ovonic Battery Company's nickel metal hydride batteries, in addition to being capable of roadside recharging in only minutes, also have a robust design. They are maintenance free and constructed to last the lifetime of any vehicle. Ovonic batteries are completely non polluting, can travel long distances between charges, and are simply the most powerful electric car batteries around. And vehicles powered by the Ovonic battery offer greater driving range and faster acceleration than ever before possible in electric vehicles. Air quality in Rome is very bad. They are replacing diesel and gasoline transit buses with electric buses. We launched uh, a, an electric bus with our batteries and, uh, and we beat all the records. Uh, a typical electric bus uh, with conventional batteries used to do about 38 miles on a single charge. And we have gone well over 113 miles. But producing batteries for strictly electric vehicles was only part of ECD's growth strategy. In the ever-changing, amorphous world of the new hydrogen economy, energy conversion devices has always understood full well that electric vehicles were only the tip of the hydrogen iceberg. The hybrid economy is part of the hydrogen economy. ECD and Ovonic Battery Company provide the enabling technology that makes hybrids realistic and useful. One of the reasons that we're looking at the hybrid car today is the fact it's a transition vehicle. It has the nice features of an electric drive car. It's smooth, good acceleration, but it has a conventional fueling system. You go to the corner gas station, fill it up, and that provides the fuel for a small displacement engine, which by its very nature has less emissions from the exhaust, at the same time delivers the power to charge the battery and drive the electric motor. The fuel economy is pretty astounding. A Honda Insight and the Toyota Prius are probably represent the two extreme edges of what we look at in terms of hybrid systems for propulsion applications. Honda has uh, uh, introduced uh, its first hybrid vehicle uh, called Insight. It uses a small gasoline engine. Uh, with electric motor and nickel metal hydride batteries. And uh, uh, it has, in at least one event, achieved 95 miles to a gallon. 
On May 1st, 2000, Texaco, the country's third largest oil company, staked their claim in the new hydrogen economy by purchasing a 20% equity share in energy conversion devices. At a press conference the following day, both companies announced their intention to establish joint ventures for continued development and commercialization of advanced energy technologies, initially in the field of ovonic solid hydrogen storage technology and the ovonic regenerative fuel cell. Fuel cell is a, is a device that converts energy into electricity. The fuel for fuel cell is hydrogen and the output of fuel cell is electricity. And that electricity, when fed into an electric motor, can drive a car, a bus, a truck, or, or any motive application. We make a fuel cell that has instant start, and you don't need a battery. You say, well, why are you putting your batteries out of business? To us, whatever has to do with hydrogen, whatever has to do with the sun, that's our business. In our ovonic regenerative fuel cell, it can absorb electrical energy and store it. We have developed materials that can store up to 7% hydrogen by weight, which equates to um, a tank, let's say, approximately of the same size as a typical gasoline tank, uh, will give you a range on a single charge over 300 miles. ECD is a material company. Throughout all the years, we've been following the atomic engineering principle, which is pioneered by Stan Ofinsky. The secret is how to use the element in the periodic table to tailor all different kind of desired properties of these alloys. For example, for this material, not only we want the seven weight percent, we also want to have a very high kinetics, charging kinetics. We also want a very high uh, long cycle life. So we just, our secret is using atomic engineering principle. We're not just building a business. We're building a new energy industry. What we're seeing is an evolution in the transportation industry. We have the complete system from well to wheels, which makes the hydrogen economy now, not sometime in the future. They've known for some time that we've been moving along with hydrocarbon fuels. Eventually, we were going to get to hydrogen. Eventually, we would be there. But suddenly, it's more of a reality. It's not way out in the future. It's more today. In the next 20 years, the world will install more new electrical generating capacity than has ever been built before. According to the Department of Energy, solar energy will be one of the major growth industries producing billions of dollars worth of electricity. United Solar Systems Corporation is ECD's joint venture with N.V. Beckert, a company with over 70 production centers around the world. United Solar is in full-scale production of a complete line of thin film products based on Stan Ofshinsky's and ECD's groundbreaking research in photovoltaics. These remarkable new products range from standalone solar lighting systems and modules for utility grid connected arrays to solar shingles for residential rooftops and metal roofing products for commercial rooftop solar systems. In order to make products that are useful, it has to be simple, it has to be reliable, it has to be robust, and it has to be affordable. One of the unique advantages of our product is that the way we make it, we take a roll of stainless steel, which is half a mile long, and using a continuous process, we make a half a mile long solar cell. This, of course, brings down the cost, but also it gives us an opportunity to make some unique products. Our products are flexible, they're rugged, they don't break. Unlike the conventional products, which are much heavier and they are very fragile. You remember how those solar panels, how big they used to be? Look at this. I want everybody to look at this. Consider this for your home. <laughs> but look, look how thin they are. It's really an amazing thing. And most Americans have not yet seen these, but they can make a huge difference in what we have to do. 
What ECD does is not only work with industrial partners in strategic alliances, but it also forms to strategic alliances with government agencies like the U.S. Department of Energy, the National Renewable Energy Lab, the Department of Commerce Advanced Technology Program. Our business strategy is to use both industry as well as government to further the commercialization, get our products out into the marketplace in high volume. The low Earth orbit satellites are a particularly good application for the thin film material. They generally are in the Van Allen radiation belt. They are exposed to radiation, but this is a good place so far as contact with Earth and the ability to transmit data. So you need a material that will not be affected by the radiation, at the same time have long life, and not be hurt by any bombardment from space particles and so forth. Thin film is an excellent application. Weight is a very important factor, and money is a very important factor. And with our ultralight materials, less weight translates to, in the case of a telecommunication satellite, a savings of a half a million dollars. Everything we do is on the frontiers of knowledge. At ECD, we invent the materials, we design new products based on those materials, and we design and build the machines and make them cost effective. Everything in the universe starts with energy. And energy and information are opposite sides of the same coin. The current business of communications and computing and entertainment and multimedia is all coming to be about information. Speed and ability to store data are critical to most of the new computing processes. We are very much involved in the storage aspect of it, and we have two important developments. We have the semiconductor memory, which has to do with very fast system memory, so-called DRAM-type memory, and we have uh, technology which addresses the archival storage, which is the optical, phase-change optical or phase-change rewritable optical memory, and that has to do with the storage of massive amounts of information in an archival, uh, rewritable way. ECD's phase change technology has become the standard for rewritable optical discs. CDRWs hold the equivalent of 540 floppy disks, and the new generation DVD rewritable discs increase that capacity to more than seven times that amount. DVDs extend the technology from audio and computer applications to video. The neat thing about ECD's phase change technology is that you can record the disks over and over again. For computer applications, you can use them just as you would a magnetic floppy disk. And for a home video application, you can use it over and over again just like you would a VHS tape. GE Plastics, a unit of the General Electric Company, has joined ECD in creating a strategic alliance. Ovonic Media, a joint venture between the two companies is already beginning to produce the next generation of optical memory products. Ovonic Media is developing a new manufacturing process which is higher rate, lower cost, and has a higher throughput than conventional approaches. Those areas are uh, very lucrative if you can In talk the electric them. memory field, Ovonics, ECD's joint venture with Tyler Lowry, the former vice chairman and chief technology officer of Micron Technology, has already started to produce results. Intel Capital has become a joint venture partner in the company, as well as a non-exclusive licensee. And Lockheed Martin Space Electronics and Communications is commercializing the Ovonics non-volatile semiconductor memory technology as a replacement for flash, DRAM, field programmable gate arrays, and other electronic devices in radiation-hardened space and military applications. ST Microelectronics, a global semiconductor company, has signed a non-exclusive agreement to license and develop ECD's and Ovonix's thin-film non-volatile semiconductor memory technology. At ECD, our goal is not only to pioneer the discovery and application of new technologies, but also to establish innovative and creative production partnerships so that today's prototypes can become tomorrow's consumer products. 
Licensees for the Ovonic rewritable optical discs include such electronic giants as Hitachi, Matsushita, Panasonic, Rico, Toshiba, TDK, Torre, and Sony. When I invented the Ovonic uh, threshold and memory switch, uh, people were quite amazed, but they said, uh, but Mr. Ovshinsky, it's digital. Well, what can somebody do with the digital switch? Well, the answer is, of course, the whole world's going digital now. In 1999, Time magazine honored Stan Ovshinsky as a hero for the planet. In 2000, the American Chemical Society named both Stan and Iris heroes of chemistry. It begins with an idea. It starts with a vision. Throughout ECD's rich history of invention and discovery, of change and transformation, the company has never lost sight of Stan and Iris Obshinsky's original vision, now shared and passed on by the talented staff of energy conversion devices, its partners and subsidiaries, to create new products based on new materials with the capability to change and transform our world.